You cannot make this stuff up. So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. What is really on Pokeos and Pokeramas? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you are someone who's been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel, from comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, folks? Folk of the Ramos. Welcome to the channel. I already gave you guys an intro, so you should know what to do. Make sure you follow me up here, over there, right here. You know, follow me there. I'm also on Twitter as the real Ty Smith, and I also have another YouTube channel called Man, Husband, Father. All right, y'all, so here go another string of craziness that we have going on right here regarding my city, Chicago, and family. It was a great time we had last weekend. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm glad y'all enjoyed it, too. Thank y'all for sending me this. Y'all know I was going to get into this. Y'all, come on now. Come on now. They're getting rid of a system that they had there that targeted gunshots to be able to alert police so they can go to the area where the gunshots came from. But, of course, had to be an issue because, you know, this machine. Anyway, let me let, let, let y'all hear it first. Let's bring in Fox News political analyst who lost his brother Christian to gun violence in Chicago, Jano Caldwell. Jano, uh, obviously this uh, story I'm sure is personal for you. You lost your brother in Chicago. I want to get your take on Brandon Johnson uh, not renewing the contract on Shot Spotter. Your take. And you're right. This is very personal for me. Any crime situation in Chicago tends to be personal for me because I know that there is a human cost to it. I'll tell you, this Shot Spotter, uh, one of the reasons in which they don't want to renew the contract is because they say that it only resulted in about 9% of uh, findings by the police being able to actually locate an actual shooting. Now, here's the issue that I have with this beyond the Democratic Convention and I'm deciding to do this after the fact, after they're there. You have no other technology that you're proposing to replace it. You have no solutions as to how you're going to keep crime down. I understand that these shootings are uh, at least being alerted or alerting the police in the black and Latino neighborhoods, but a lot of times that's where the shootings are happening from, happening. So why would there be any sense of discrimination when this is where the problem areas can be? Now, mind you, in Chicago, things have very much shifted. It's not just areas of the south side of Chicago and the west side of Chicago. It's now all over the city, including uh, in downtown where there's even been a shooting right by City Hall. So they need help. Police, law enforcement need help. This is about a 40, uh, almost $50 million uh, um, contract that they had since 2018. But again, if you cannot give us another piece of technology that's going to do this job much more effective, you're leaving lives at risk. So they need to do better at, at, at least bringing something to the fold that they think is going to do a much more objective job because just taking it away is putting lives at risk. But Gianno, well, one, did they ever solve your brother's murder? No, my brother's murder has not been solved yet. Uh, I've been speaking with the special agent in charge of the Chicago field office on a monthly basis. He's been keeping me up to date. Um, I actually just reached out the other day because I, I need to speak with them again to find out where things are, are going. But I'm hopeful now that it's in the FBI's hands that Things could shift rather rapidly, but it has been uh, certainly a lot of time has passed and my family remains grieving, hurting, and we really need answers and we need people brought uh, to justice on this. You know, of course, and you want answers, but also you want law enforcement to be able to do their job and share that with you. It always is suspect to me, you know, when you have an app that doesn't work as well as you would like um, and, and the uh, elected leaders don't support law enforcement the way they should. But it's, it's curious that they're going to get rid of Spot Shotter um, within uh, a month after the DNC. They're not getting rid of it before the DNC. They're getting rid of it after, which reeks to me of politics. Exactly right. Right. 
I mean, it, it, it is, but what I know that they want to do is try to have as smooth as a DNC as possible, but there's going to be a lot of angry folks over there that's outside of that convention. If you look at the immigration situation and a migrant crisis that has hit Chicago, you're going to see a lot of people out there, and any, anything can happen. Shot no Spider doubt. is in 150 cities. It's on a bunch of college campuses. The technology actually did do something. Right. Uh, but no again, doubt. now they're deciding to close this out, but not say this is our alternatives. That's going to be very problematic for the people of Chicago, especially yeah. the young and the poor people that they claim to care so much about no, in the no. Democratic Party. Jenna, Jenna, we have to run. You know that Dagan and my prayers are with you Always. and your family. And Thank uh, you so God much. Bless you. Always. God bless you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Yep. That machine just can target minorities. I mean, it, it, it just got like, its software is only able to sense out black people or brown people. That's what that software in those machines do. The software don't do what it was, you know, manufactured and made to do. You know, it, it, you know, whenever you hear gunshots, it instantly goes black person, black person, black person, black person over there, over there. That's what the machine does. If it hear a firework go off, black person, black person, black person, brown person, brown person. Are we serious right now? I told y'all this is what this dumb nonsense is about. It's not about getting to the root cause of what's causing the issue. It's always going to come down to it's just targeted black people. Guess what? If it is your person that's doing it, that's what the machine is going to target. Oh, man, okay. What if the lights go off? What, what if certain lights come on in your dash in your car? Is that car only targeting you and telling you that there's something wrong with your car because you black and you driving? Come on now. You, you, this is family. <laughs> You can't make this stuff up. But again, they are preying on your ignorance. They don't want you to think. They don't want you to rationale this. They just want you to get pissed off and get mad and say, we knew they was targeting black people with these systems. No, we ain't no. Come on now. But if you want to keep it real, if your black selves, I'm talking to the thugs and the criminals in Chi-Town, if they weren't committing the crimes, then the machine wouldn't be targeting them. If you have a child that's in school that's acting up, no matter what class he goes to, he's acting up, and he just happened to be black or brown, the common denominator is it's your child. Who cares what color your child is? You get so focused on the color of your child, it seems like they're targeting my kid, instead of addressing the fact that your kid is a goddamn on degenerate bastard. That's what it is. Okay, he's a goddamn on degenerate child of both parents. It doesn't even matter. I threw bastard in there just to throw shots, by the way. But it's a good chance that they probably are a bastard. If we want to be real. But that's what I'm saying. It does not matter what color the child is. It matters. Why, why are we not focusing on the fact that your child is being bad in every class? So in this case, why are we not focusing on the fact that this machine is targeting where a bunch of probably crime is taking place? A bunch of gunshots is going off. Why are we why are we worried about the possibility that these places where these gunshots are going off, somebody's life might be in danger? Somebody innocent might be in danger. An innocent bystander like those little girls that got shot. Why are we focused on that but instead of focusing, it's only targeted the brown people, it's minorities, is the reason why. So what you're saying is that minorities are majority of the gun owners there in Chicago? Legally? Yeah, okay. Anyway, y'all, I wasn't supposed to go this long. I'm sorry about this. <clears throat> Yeah, getting a little upset if y'all can see me. Woosa, woosa. Anyway, appreciate y'all being here and listening to me rant on this. Don't forget to get into your cell phones. Let somebody know about this channel. Encourage them to subscribe to this channel. If you could, go into your contact list and let them know. Don't forget, you can financially support the channel by going to patreon.com. Trying to get the 500 people on here in the dollar tier. Just go over there. Sign up for is $1, $12 a year. If you do, great. If you don't, great. One of the best things you guys can do is hit that thumbs up button and let people know about this channel. Really, really appreciate you guys all chiming in on this. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.
what's going on everybody so hey check this out i appreciate you guys watching i appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos do not forget to subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up and also right here is where you can catch the next video the latest video that i've done but like right up here this is stuff that i've done kind of in the past so in this area you might find a video that i've done in the past it can be funny it can be something serious it does not matter but this is something that you can also do to check out more material that i do in my channel because i do a lot in this channel all right so again appreciate everything from you guys keep on watching it keep on supporting it and god bless you all